Well, church, we are wrapping up Joshua today, looking at chapters 23 and 24. As Joshua is concluding this history, the summary of what is happening in Israel, it wraps up with his seemingly his final words, his encouragement, his rebuke, his correction, his uh, desire for Israel to do what is right. We see this similarly done with Moses. Now Joshua, who followed in Moses' footsteps, is doing the same thing. So in chapter 23, he calls Israel to love God, to make sure that they see all the promises that he's kept, which we looked at yesterday. They saw how much God has loved them, how he's guided them, how he's fought in battles for them. And so make sure you love God. But as we looked at in our sermon, if you were following with us in our Proverbs number eight series about being loving, we have to realize it's a fear and a love of God that drives us to do the things we do. So after Joshua charges Israelites, leaders to love God and to obey him, he follows up with also there has to be a fear of God, that God rewards those who do what is right, but also God punishes those who reject him, who don't listen to him. So fear and love God and do the things God has called us to do. He always keeps his promises. He's always ready to to bless and to love his people. And so let's seek to do that. Now, there's going to be difficult times, right? Israel still had to prepare for battle. They had to get their hands dirty at various times, just like we will too. It's going to not in a military conquering sense, but in fighting sin and being ridiculed and mocked by uh, society. But we still can make sure that we love God above all else and can focus on pleasing him, doing what is right by him and fearing him, loving him in all our interactions. And so it's so my hope, my encouragement that these last two chapters would guide you to that. As you look back on your life, you can see how much God has loved you. And as you look forward to the decisions you will make, you will choose to serve God above anything else because ultimately what's for your best good and to the glory of God. So choose to fear, love, and obey God just as Israel was charged to do as well. All right, church, have a great day.